Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I don't want to waste any time. Let's go ahead and dive into this chart. Oh my gosh, I woke up this morning and I was like, yo, this chart is going to be explosive. There is a message here. We need to share it ASAP. So I was like, wait, 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 calm down. Calm down, angels. Let me just go for a walk. As I was walking, everything was rerouting me and I was just like, fine. I didn't even really want to go for this walk anyways. I just want to get back to my desk. I want to get back to my charts. I want to pull some cards for you guys. Then I did that, of course I did. I sat in my meditation and I had vision after vision after vision. Now, let me go ahead and say this to you now. Um, I am not here to convince anyone of anything. I literally go into my meditation and I set the intention that anything you need to hear, anything that my tribe, the Bahati Vibe tribe needs to hear is exactly what they hear and that they receive it from me in a way that is clear and precise and resonates with them. If this message does not hit a chord for you, it is not meant for you. Again, it's not my job or my responsibility to convince anyone of anything. I'm just really channeling and delivering messages as I see them. Now, that being said, what did I see this morning? Okay, so I'm sitting there and I see this vision of this huge, like vast ocean. And the ocean is kind of rocking, but it's, it's, there's an emphasis on how big the ocean is and how big this space is, how big the landscape is. And then I see two major old timey ships, like out of, I don't know, like the 1800s. Do they have ships back then? I don't know. But that, that vision of like sailor ships or pirate ships is exactly what it is that I saw. On one ship, I saw you, AKA you, me, us, the Bahati Vibe tribe. On the other, I saw literally the others. It was, I don't wanna say that they're not a part of the Bahati Vibe, but it's the other thing that it is that you're waiting for that carries resources, that carries um, an, an, opportunity to, blah, an opportunity to collab an opportunity to connect, maybe partnership. I'm not sure what that ship carries, but it's whatever it is that you've been waiting for. So those ships come up side by side. And when they see each other, they're like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for you. Emphasis on that, put a pin in that. Actually, no, let's go ahead and unpack it. When I saw that, when I saw that message of, oh my God, I've been waiting. I knew that you were gonna come. That's literally word for word, verbatim, ver ver why am I stuttering? because I'm so excited, that's literally word for word verbatim of what it was that I heard, which was, I've been waiting for you. I knew you were gonna come. There were some people that doubted me. There were some people that when I shared my vision with them, their instant reaction was to be like, no, or oh my God, no, that's impossible, or that's not the right thing for you. How would you know that that's not the right thing for me? I know, I know when I feel it. I know when I see it that that is for me. Why? Because it's like written in the stars, but it's written in my heart to, observe it, to see it, to be aware that, okay, as soon as that shows up, it just clicks like a light bulb. This is a yes, this is for me. And everything else has been a no. Even if people are like, this is a good thing, it doesn't feel like it's a good thing because it's literally written in my heart to say yes to the things that are a yes. Now there's, with that too, I'm also getting a message that for some of you guys, this thing that is coming up on the, sh on the horizon, this ship that's coming up on the horizon, is something that you've seen before, but it's different. So they changed, they evolved, or they're ready now. There's this really strong, the word that just came through was comparison. There's this really strong comparison, a match between strengths, a match between vibrations, where you know, you're know you very much the same, but you're different. You're, same, you're the same because you have the same strength, you have the same vision, you have the same prospects, you have the same, goals, the same mindset in a lot of ways, but you're different because it's these separate entities, these separate energies that are coming together and they pull together. The other thing that I wanna say, and I wanna go back, and I'm be being called to go back to the ocean. The When I said, let's put a pin in how vast the ocean is, literally what I'm seeing is how vast the landscape has been. There's an emphasis on the word landscape, which means that whatever it is, it's so wide, it extends and it extends and extends. But just like people who have been using the stars, astrology or the North Star, to point them in a way that is practical and realistic, some of you guys have been relying on practical means to guide you and to help navigate you through this wide ocean, which sometimes it seems like there's nothing out there, or maybe you know that there's something out there, but it's under the, under the water so you can't actually see it, or maybe it's not for you, maybe there's a healthy sense of fear there, but either way, you're still navigating this ocean, you're still navigating this landscape, and you're following either practical approach, the North Star, 
or you're following your spiritual self, you're following the stars, you're being, you're con being consulted by an astrologer, maybe it's me, maybe the cards, whatever it is, maybe your own intuition, but you're relying on this thing that is pulling you, not pulling you, but it's there. It's like this little guiding light and you use it, or maybe you're using a map. So it's like, okay, let's say you're in law school. I don't know why that just came through, but law school or nursing school. So there's a map that helps to guide you and says, okay, this is what you have to do next. This is what, what places you need to steer away from. So you're using this practical approach, but you're also learning to connect with your intuition and you're also putting your focus, your drive on, okay, this is what I'm going to need in order to accomplish my goals to get to my desired destination. For others of you, you guys are using all the above, like all these three different tools and resources, but it doesn't matter. The point of the the point of this message is that there's this vast landscape that you've been navigating through and to get to this destination, knowing that there is something there on the horizon. And it's like you truly are the captain, captain of your ship, the ship being your life. And in that life, in your life, you have a bunch of tools, a bunch of different resources. And something about this week or the weeks to come, and it's different for everybody because this is a general message and this is what is coming to me, this is what I've downloaded this morning. Something about this, you know, this, this, this week or again, what the cycle that we're entering into our lives, it carries, it's like it happens now and you start seeing, okay, this is all that I've been carrying, good and bad, right? And then this other ship, the other is carrying what is that they have. And we are going to exchange. There's an opportunity here for partnership. Now, there's some things that the other will give to you and there's some things that you will give to the other. And for some of you guys, you actually will decide to sail side by side and do this like, I don't want to say um, collaboration, but it's like, what is the word? Oh my God, I don't know what this word is, but it's when... It's like, I don't want to say a series. Damn, I wish I was better with, with this. Um, but it's when, uh, like a brigade, is that the right word? It's like a brigade where you just kind of all join. It's a part of your tribe or a part of your family or a part of your union. I'm not sure, but everyone's going to be different. It's what it is that you've been waiting for, what you've set your sights on, right? So you're, you link up. And the first thing that I saw in my vision is you extending your hand, you reaching out your hand. And you are strong because you've been prepping for this, you've been preparing for this, but so is the other. So they are going to do their work, their part, because they wanna collab with you, they wanna work with you. Put a pin in that, because um, we're gonna revisit it. So they grab this massive rope and they're getting ready to throw it over to you and it's going to, it's expected that you are then gonna pull this rope to help pull both of these ships together. And when that happens, that's when you're going to see Three of Pentacles energy. Now, I didn't see the Three of Pentacles here that I, that I observed yet. I wouldn't be surprised if the Three of Pentacles is here. But, because um, I do have cards pulled out. But it's very Three of Pentacles, which is, okay, this is what you have. This is what I got. Let's pull our ships together and let's create this massive, cohesive, you know, co combination of things, of elements, me and you working together to create this, or me and you working together to experience this, right? So that's, let me put, go back to that part that I just said, let's put a pin in it. It is so important that you receive this message that you will know exactly who it is, not only because they are aware, because they made themselves known, but because they are equally throwing in the work they are using their muscle because remember, these are two strong like um, things that are mirror images of each other. It's a comparison. Why do they compare? Because they are the same. They're different. You know, no two things are the no two things can are the same. But they match in strength. They match in equality, but they're different. That being said, they can do, they have the potential, if they want to, to collab with you to put in the same amount of effort and energy that you would. And they would benefit from it if they did put in all of that muscle. You guys have matching muscle. But you will know that it's the right person, not because it's there, not because it's presented itself, but because they are going to put in their weight and they're gonna throw this heavy ass rope for you to catch it. So they have the same amount of potential, which means that you will see them doing the same amount of work because they have the same ideals, the same motivation, and their intention matches yours. It's not you doing everything to haul this ship in. They are going to match your energy, your effort. So I really want you guys to hear and to feel that because some of you guys, it's like, okay, I'm gonna now take this message, take this inspiration and run with it. 
And with, with that, you're going to end up finding yourself doing the same thing. You guys remember, we have said goodbye to the cycle. We have let, left it in the past. We are not repeating the same mistakes, which means that we're not hauling and doing everything for everyone. We are matching up and connecting with those who will um, put in the same amount of effort so that we can get and receive the, the same um, of an abundance that benefits both of us, right? Now, with that, I wanna go ahead and dive into these cards because I feel like that's as far as I can go when it comes to that vision for right now and being called to kind of look at the cards. So this, the first few cards that jumped out are from the Gilded Lenormand and we have two different women, right? Two different women, but they are looking at each other and they come from different worlds. We have red, we have purple, but they match. And together we have two different rows, two different, two different pathways. I feel as though for some of you guys, you will be called to different paths, obviously, different routes, different opportunities. But for many of you, the message that I'm seeing is that these two separate paths have crossed. Now we have two different women here, but they are not exclusively feminine. They're not exclusively women. This could be anything. It just goes back to the vision that it was that I saw this morning, which is that these two separate things, purple and red, that they're coming together, but they're equal strength, but they bring different opportunities. They, do, they bring different um, abundance and they want the same things. They're going to work together. So these two paths, they're going to cross. They are navigated they're, they've been navigating towards each other, like following the stars to this right point in this vast ocean, this vast abyss that you didn't even know that you would be able to cross paths. You knew that it was going to happen, but you just didn't know how, when, where. You're just following your North Star. You're following the stars. You're following your intuition. Then we see partnership. Now, uh, with this card, I really want to draw your you guys' your eyes to this symbol right here. Again, there's two separate triangles, two separate energies that connect, and they link up, they intertwine. They're different, but they come together with the same motivation, the same intention to create something here. Then we see the bard here, music, poetry, myth, here's your history, the enchantment of storytelling. I just feel like this is just a part of life. I feel like this is what makes life so interesting, so magical, and it's just a part of the story. Like, let me hear your story. What were your travels like? Emphasis on the word travels because that was the next card that came through. Travels, I don't know if you could see this. For some reason, it's not letting me focus, but it says, let every aspect of this trip, this journey, the journey of your life, or maybe some of you guys are actually going on a trip, unfold in harmony. Emphasis on the word harmony. Why? Because the sun is moving through the sign of Libra. Mars is ruling through the sign of Libra. The vertex is in the sign of Libra. The part of fortune is in the sign of Libra. This is all about our will, our ego, our focus trying to link up and match up and partner up because Libra rules these things in harmony with what is right, which the mirror, the, the other, the other half, right? Then I'm seeing what you give will come back, but also flip it, what they give will come back because these are mirroring polarities that are trying to work together. Then I see the card um, from the zombie tarot, the world, and also the hermit card. With this, I feel a really strong emphasis to tell you guys that this is effortless. It is the next cycle in the journey. It's everything that you knew and you understood within your heart. It, it, the word is a resounding truth. This is a resounding truth. I knew it. I knew it. And it brings me right back to the message that I heard, which was, I knew you were coming. I knew you were on your way. I knew you would be here. I just didn't know when. And this is from, okay, it just comes in. It's incoming. And this is something that is exclusively yours, exclusively has your name written all over it and your name written all over them and their name written all over you. And that's why you guys are getting pulled together. And then I'm seeing unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. The hermit card, she's literally in this like little abode, this tiny abode in the middle of the world, right? Uh, and the, the one space in the entire world, the vastest of this world, you are right where you need to be. The world could be on fire, right? This is the world. This represents everything and everyone. But underneath it, we have two people just totally um, detached from everything else that's going on. Very hermetic. Sometimes when we think of the hermit card, we think there's no one around. There's nothing that I'm going to be all alone. I'm going to be isolated. And that is true for some of you guys. But really what I see is this chaos, the external, the external noise. You're, it's canceled out. You guys are just on the, ne the next level. And you have 
learned to cancel out that noise, like noise can cancellation earmuffs. You just don't hear it anymore because that's not your vibration. You're not there anymore. The world is on fire, whatever that represents for you. That could be your community. That could be your work environment. That could be the past relationships. Let those things burn. They're going to anyways. Meanwhile, you have all these hands that are reaching out, but here you are sitting here completely unbothered and some of you guys are going to be alone or you feel like you have this desire to be alone, but many of you guys are truly partnering up with someone. So there's all this noise, it's all this chaos, hands trying to reach out to you and you are disconnected from that. You're in your own little world. That's what the Hermit card is showing here, saying that you are exactly where you need to be. The Hermit, see how content she is just being in her own little world? Again, I don't see her being with uh, totally alone. In fact, you know, there's these birds that are around them. But you're finding sanctuary. You're opening to your spiritual source, which means that everything you need, everything that you've been needing is right here. You're partnering with it. Or if you haven't connected with it, you even being at the right place at the right time is going to draw it in. It's going to, it is literally traveling towards you with music, with lights, with love, with, with abundance. That's why the bard card is here because they're really enjoying their, their, they're enjoying their travel to you. And all you have to do is be ready, ready, to receive it literally ready to receive it that is so much but that is uh, and I'm not even done I haven't pulled the rest of the cards yet but that's what it is that I'm seeing so far so the next group of cards that I'm seeing and I'm unpacking these as I'm talking to you guys the king of Pentacles the star card emphasis on the star card because I'm feeling this word navigation it is navigating towards you then we see the Knight of ha Hazards, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is something, someone that is ready, strong, abundant, and has everything that is that you need that is going to be your match, that is going to be your partnership, that's going to link up with you with the right resources. They are on their way because they are being guided. They are being steered towards you. Then we have, okay, see, we have the ship. Did I not just say that? We have the ship, we have the book, and we have the home card. This connect, the home card in the center connects me to I'm in the right place at the right time and it is going to come. It's going to make itself known. It's going to reveal itself. Then we have the card of you will be surprised and empowerment. This is literally, this connects me to the King of Pentacles, which shows me, sorry about that, which shows me that this person is empowered this person is strong they know why they're on their journey they know what it is they're looking for and they are on their way this card you will be surprised i just feel like it's again this vast landscape of how are we going to cross paths i know it's going to happen i just don't know how it will happen okay wow see then we have far away places get ready for new horizons we have staying focused hold the course so this person is literally looking out to the star to the stars to the next journey they are getting pulled out of their comfort zones to meet you halfway and you the same so don't be afraid of where it is that you are moving towards don't be afraid of where it is that you're being called towards don't be afraid of following the stars um, having these messages resonate and listening to them and taking that first step especially with the Aries full moon that just passed are you kidding me then we see narrow pathway tread thoughtfully I see this as the path that you need to take is very narrow, which means that you won't be navigated off of that. You're just like being funneled to where, ex where exactly it is that you are focused on, where it is that you are being guided to go. The stars are pulling you, so the path is something that is so obvious and so clear to you. And it is, it is, it is on the horizon. Um, when I see the card burden, this is the next card that jumps up. I feel like again everything that you've experienced that kind of like tested you and tested your faith and tested your passion um, and your patience. It's like it serves a purpose. It 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 only adds to the depth of who you are and your experiences and what you are called to experience. That's why the book is here because there's more that will be revealed to you. That's why you'll be so surprised because you're like. These are things that I've been asking for, but when I go and I cross over to the other ship and I see this partnership, they are going to have more ideas, more love, more resources, more opportunity than I was even expecting, than I even asked for. That's why you will be surprised, right? So what is the, what else do we have here? We see change is good. A lot of you guys are changing. Um, you've Not only have you unpacked um, this, these, you know, cleanse, cleansing your house, releasing, letting go, letting go of baggage, 
um, that's been the major change for you. But doing that has given you so much confidence and so much light and so much love. And it's just, it, made, it makes it easier for you to travel and move forward because you're not carrying the baggage of the past. Then we see the dog, we see the whip, and we see the key. This is something that is gonna happen fast. And it is something that, again, is just loyal. It is there for you, it is ready. It is ready and it will go with you the depths of the way. The next card that I'm seeing, wow. The next cards that I'm seeing is choosing your path. All is possible. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. So I'm really seeing this connection of collaboration and working with others who are on the same journey. And then you guys coming together as, and both of you guys are wise lead, leaders. Both of you guys have exactly what it, it takes. There is no questioning of, are you ready? Do you have what it takes? Do we want the same things? There's no denying it because they're showing up in all of their words and all of their actions and all of their intentions. They are loyal, they are there. It's the words that they use that opens the key, the door to everything that is that you've been wanting. Change is good, probably because you haven't experienced this before. Hell yeah, change is good because we are all putting an end to this cycle of like, what do you want? Like I've been putting my energy into things that don't serve me and questioning myself and losing confidence and losing vitality and losing my ideas, my inspiration. Change is so freaking good because this is something new, this is something different. Partnering up with people that are just so abundantly filled. Oh my God, I welcome this in with open arms. And we've been on this pathway, change is so good. Okay, nine of pentacles, ace of swords, two of pentacles. This is again, this energy of collaboration with people who are willing, people who are ready, people who have it. What do they have? Abundance, they have blessing, they have focus, they have dedication, commitment, loyalty. These things again are unquestionable. Ace of swords is the blade of truth. It is right here, right now, it is strong. There is no cloudiness, there is no fogginess. It is what it is. There is no disillusionment, there is no disenchantment. It is right here, right now, bing, bang, boom. Um, Mercury moving through the sign of Scorpio is giving it to us good, where it's like, this is the truth, this is what I want, this is the depth of who I am, who are you? And Mercury is being supported here. Venus wants the same thing. She wants connection, she wants intensity, she wants passion, it is unavoidable. Um, looking at the chart, Venus is sitting directly opposite of Uranus. Uranus is moving through the sign of Taurus. Taurus is Earth, foundation, um, values, things that we love, things that we want for ourselves. Uranus is like legit has been throwing grenades into, okay, I thought this is what I wanted. I thought this was solid. I thought that this was important to me. I'm realizing that it is no longer. So I'm separating myself from the bullshit. I'm separating myself from cheap. I'm separating myself from things that don't have value. Some of you guys are like, yes, yes, girl. Like, because you feel it, especially when I said cheap. Why? Because they're not a value. They don't have a purpose. They literally can, they don't have what it takes. You can't convince me that you have what it takes when you are showing me again and again that you don't have what it takes. I am moving on. I This ship has sailed, literally. That's why you're the traveler, because you have moved on. There is no compromise. Compromise for what? I'm going to compromise, literally put everything I have of value, of resource, put that on the back burner for you so that I can feed into you? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Change is good. We're moving forward. I have what it takes. The wise leader. I'm a beacon of light. I've been following this. I've been focused. I know what I want. So I'm not going to reroute or put everything on hold for you to get your, get, your, get your ducks in a line. Like, absolutely not. Change. Change is good. Change is good. Say no more, fam. Say no more. Okay, and then let's move on to the next cards. Um... Three of Wands, okay, so I was just about to say, like, it's so interesting that I haven't seen the Three of Wands or the Three of Pentacles because I am getting so much of this collaboration. Five of Pentacles, some people, some things have to be left in the past. Some things have to be like, why did you leave me? I'm sorry, but also not sorry because it, you just weren't ready. Like, I'm ready. Like, if you really loved me or if you really want the best for me, you wouldn't ask me to sit here and wait for you to get your shit together because I'm putting my entire life on hold for I have to go out. I have to go out. And if you if you cared about yourself and if you loved yourself, you would do whatever it took in order to be able to go on this journey. Do what you have to do because I'm going to do what I have to do. Some, of, some people are going to get left out. The Empress. Oh! The Empress, she knows that she has what it takes. She knows that she's worth it. This is not something that gets compromised. It's something that she is like, duh. 
duh, I've been ready to receive. I'm not even waiting because I am being fulfilled. I have been filling myself up. I have been nourishing myself and enjoying the entire process. Duh. And if you, if, if there is someone, something that is going to come and bring this music, this art, this abundance, I will look into it and I will, you know, maybe I will partake in it, maybe I won't. But as an empress, as an empress, I have everything. I have everything. I don't need more, but I could go for some more. I could want some more. Let me see what it is that you have. I'll consider it. <laughs> Literally, that's where you guys are at. Yeah, mm-hmm, because the card restriction is here. Some of you guys are gonna be like, no, no. Even the Empress here, she has her hand up. Like, no, like I don't have to say yes to that if I don't want to, you know? There's a lot of people that want access to me. There's a lot of people that want what it is that I have to give, and. I don't have to do anything. Communication, I can clearly communicate that or maybe I'll listen to what it is that you have to say. They will show themselves, they will make it known by what it is that they say, but why what it is that they do. And it opens this new door, this, this novice card opens the new door by you saying no to certain things. And you, be, and you knowing, the eagle says spirit integrity. Emphasis on the word integrity. This does not compromise you or anything else or anything that you've that anything that you've been building. It only adds to it. It does not compromise it or strip away from it. It adds to it. That is what when I hear the word integrity, that's what I hear. I don't have to compromise or diminish any aspect of myself to make you feel better or to add on to what it is that I've been creating for myself. Integrity. Wow. Then we have the fish, the card of abundance, the tower, the card of isolation. Some of you guys do have to disconnect from people who are really trying to come in and collab with you. Others, I feel like you restricting them and you saying no to them opens the door for people to be like, that makes sense. Why would she or he collab with less than? Why would they collab with that group? You know, it kind of takes away from the truth and the value of who you are. Like no one is better than anyone else, but like if you're around people who aren't, you know, who are all play, no work, or who don't, you know, who they're just kind of like meddling and like bullshit, not taking care of themselves, you are going to look like them because you're partnering up with them. So partner up with people who match your values because that is a part of your integrity. That, that protects your value, that protects your resource, and that strengthens the fortress, that um, strengthens where you are. If you are again, meddling with and lower energies, lower vibrations, then the higher vibrations that you actually match with will not partner up with you because they're like, I don't understand why you're there. Like, I don't understand why that's your environment. Put yourself in a place where other people can see and recognize your worth because you are not meddling around in lower entities. Some of you guys are gonna be offended by this. I literally don't care. <laughs> like, I literally don't care. I don't care. Because the, uh, the others of you that are empowered by this message are right here with me where we are just, that ship has sailed. And the book again is showing you that there's more to it that you're gonna learn. There's more to it that you're going to know, that you're going to discover. Your treasure is at hand. Literally, it is right here, right now, in the present, in your energy field. What is time? Time doesn't exist, but it's all about you matching the vibration, the energy of what is that you're trying to attract. What is that you are going to attract, that you are attracting. Your treasure is at hand. And the card Courage is here showing you that this is all about, don't worry about this. Literally, what you give will come back. Um, you have to have strength. You have to have, you know, enough, a healthy sense of love, self-love to be like, that's a no. This is a yes. I'll consider. Then we have the cards for, what does it say? First light, beginning a new cycle. There's a new cycle on the horizon. This brings me back to your treasure is at hand. It is here. It is now. It is present. Nav navigating by the stars. My hands are shaking right now, you guys, because I'm so amped up. Energy is flowing. Follow your bliss. Navigating by the stars, everything, that light, that first light, that light that I've been following is opening the door. It is beginning a new cycle. It is my courage. It is my confidence. It is my energy that has brought me here. And then we see joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. That's because that light, that whatever it is that's on the horizon is blessing you. It's going to be the biggest blessing, the biggest gift. Now, as if that wasn't enough, 
Um, I'm seeing messages coming in. Mercury moving to the sign of Scorpio on the 19th. Trines Pluto, the planet of transformation. The anxiety that, that you hear, connections, collaborations that you make are life changing. Point blank, period. Um, on the 15th, Mercury trines with Neptune. We're creative, we're expansive. Our, our mind is soaring to new heights. You are soaring to new heights. You don't need to worry. The card of you don't need to worry. Don't be misled. The card of the owl, deception, and wisdom. You have learned who not to trust, what not to do. What is for you is of value. Sometimes it's a whip that needs to come in. The lilies and the whip. Sometimes those things come in and says, Psh, that's a yes, that's a no. It's, that whip is going to hurt some people, but it's going to be every, for others, it's going to whip your ass right into shape and make you go, make you go on this journey. Then we have the truth, the card of truth. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. What are people saying? The words, sometimes it's not their words that tell them that will tell you what their intentions are, it's their actions, that is the truth. Watch what people do. Watch what people are showing you. Then we have the 10 of Pentacles and the Magician. This is the card of creation and abundance, not just for here in the now, but for those to come because it paves the rest of the way. So many of you guys are calling out the truth of what it is that you want. Don't be misled by lackluster. Don't be misled by things that you've already experienced. Don't be misled by just words. Listen to their actions, listen to your energy because it all speaks. It's all, you know, trying to collab with you. There's a lot of people who want access to what it is that you have, of course. That's always how it is with anything of abundance. But you have to protect yourself and you know the right way. So don't be misled by this lower energies, these lower vibrations because there's a lot of partnership that's happening, but make sure you're partnering up with the right thing. The treasure is at hand. You will be surprised. Change is always good. What you give will come back and it's right here, right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. The energy is flowing here, so make sure that you are a part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe so that you can receive all of the abundance and the blessing that I am pouring out and putting out and also receiving. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hey guys, it's me again, Jess from Bahati Life. Really quickly, I just wanted to invite you to follow me on my Instagram at Bahati Life, or you can check out my personal Instagram, Jessica X Alexandria. For those of you guys that were concerned about browsing the apothecary, creating a custom oil, even booking a reading with me, you can do that at BahatiLife.com. So I'll link all of those details down in the description box for you to make it easy. In the meantime though, I really do want to invite you to subscribe and to turn on notifications to the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, so that you can be a part of my Bahati Vibe Tribe because I post weekly astrology and intuitive messages all the time. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.